Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 5.30 p.m. on September 30th, 2013. We're at the end of the quarter. We had a down day today. Um, pretty much saw it shaping up in the futures overnight and this morning. Um, and it's due, I think, mostly to fear over the, quote, government shutdown. You know, without going too deep into it, I kind of wish the government would shut down, only not so permanently. I wish we could shut it down and just start from scratch. But that aside, that's all I'm going to say. Let me read this to you. www.sp500chart.com and this video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. And I think we're going to change a few things today based upon what we saw that might give us a little bit more of a clue when the S&P is ready to turn back up. So let's take a look. Oops, sorry, forgot to move my chart. There we go. Um, here's our chart. We'd been looking at what I thought, and it sure looked like a descending wedge pattern. We got above that pattern for two days. Then today, we spent the entire day underneath it. So, let's make a change here. I, I don't think that was so much a bad call as... as is I think that maybe we've just morphed into something else based upon the kind of stresses that are being placed upon the market by the political situation. So let's kill that line, kill that line. Now I'm going to extend this one up so that we have a single line that connects uh, one, two, three, four tops. Now I'm going to make a parallel line to this. And I'm going to put it there and then just massage that a little bit to go with our one, two uh, touches on the bottom and almost a third back on the 24th. So what we would be looking at really is still for 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 purposes of when this would be over we still have and by the way if you look our little um midline that that we put in things sometimes still seems to uh line up almost the same way the difference is um we've changed this line a little bit to make these now tops instead of premature breakouts from our wedge. And we've turned the whole thing into a descending channel with the idea that, and, and this is where I was getting ready to, to go just a, a minute ago, this line we drew yesterday, we didn't have it extended all the way back with the idea that when the S&P gets over this line, then we are likely looking, looking at the end of the selling pressure that started with that tag on 1730. So we've been selling down now for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. We are getting sort of close to our uh, turquoise line down here. So let's just watch this channel. And if we break out over this top line, then I believe we would be ready to head back up to rechallenge that 1730 level. And if we keep moving down and we take out this bottom line, then we've got some uh, thinking to do. Uh, by the way, we, uh, we are getting fairly close to that to that line that uh, that I thought we would uh, be seeing at some point as a neckline when we were talking about a potential uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern, you'll recall that we never got the right shoulder, but we kept this idea of a neckline on the chart. 
So we almost hit that early today. Um, and we ended up being, you know, a decent amount off the uh, day's lows. If we look at it here, you can see too that if we uh, if we sort of look at this midline, like maybe it has some technical significance, it looks like we may be at least bouncing a little bit at that line um, at the end of the day. So what I'm what I would uh, suggest maybe doing is look at this as a descending channel now and a break above this upper resistance line should be the signal that the S&P is ready to move up and out of this descending channel and to uh, potentially get back on up and challenge those highs uh, at around 1730. So there you have it. A nice here here was a downward channel, then an upward channel, and now it looks like our wedge has morphed into another downward channel. Let's see where this line uh, will break out because I, I think it will. Um, I, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think the S and P at this point is ready just to fall off a cliff uh, already. It is of uh, the end of the uh, day on Monday. People are pretty much, I think, resigned to the idea that we will have a, quote, government shutdown. I personally think something will happen at the last minute and, and, they, and, and this will not happen. I may be wrong, but I just have a sneaking suspicion that this will get resolved at the at the very last minute maybe not but anyway guys there's your video for the end of your uh, third quarter for 2013 let's see if maybe we start the quarter off tomorrow on a positive note maybe that would be a good thing at any rate i think we've got some signals to 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 look for again look at that descending red channel now if we break out over that top line that should signal that the S&P is ready to move onwards and upwards in another uh, leg up. Take care. Thanks for watching and thanks especially for your support.